So I did not think that I was me covering another dumb art drama this soon, but uh, seems like we've got another art topic that intrigued me. Told you it wouldn't be the last one. It's actually extremely similar to the last video, but instead of one drawing, it's an entire account's art style. Now with other petty art dramas, depending on what it would be, I most likely would have just skipped over it since I did one of those last week, but this one, this was interesting. What stuck out to me was the striking similarities between this and the infamous Crockett situation. Like pretty much very similar reasons for hate. And I honestly thought I would have moved past the art style hate, but I guess I was being way too positive for TikTok. Hey dudes, it's Bri and I usually do art commentary and just art in general, so if that's what you like, why not stick around? Now let's get to the video. You guys actually wouldn't have seen this video without this user asking me to cover the situation, so thank you to them. They asked me, can you talk about the Shaju underscore 23 situation? Also, do not mind the probably horrible pronunciation of that. Usually when I get requests with specific users, I don't really look into those dramas for videos, as I don't usually like making drama videos centered around specific people. Unless, of course, it fully centers around art, or almost fully. But I usually skim over the drama of these sort of comments anyway out of curiosity, even if I don't think I'll cover it, and that's what I did. I looked up the user on YouTube, didn't find it, so I checked TikTok, and that's when I found it. And at that point, I was expecting some dumb drama between creators since it's TikTok. And when I looked it up, I only found the account's posts, and surprisingly nothing else. And which is really strange, since with the art dramas, especially huge ones, there's usually a lot of videos of people talking about the situation. But I'm a curious person, and even without all these people talking about it, I wanted to dig further and figure out what was going on and why someone wanted me to cover it. So I decided to click their most recent post, which is a slideshow. I was really hoping that would give me some information on what's going on, and it did. It was a response to what could be considered an art lord-like video. Instantly I sighed, and knowing it was most likely an innocent artist, and I was unfortunately correct. But really quick, if you're wondering what art lore is, despite the common belief that it's lore of someone else's art, it's actually a term used to describe a video created to mock an artist. Usually it's repetitive videos, but luckily in this case, it was only one video. I'm not sure if it has to be an entire trend to be considered art lore, but either way, it's extremely similar if it isn't. These parody videos are usually just to poke fun of problematic actions from a specific artist, but it quickly turned into bullying literally anyone at any given time. Side note, it just started raining where I'm at, and this is the only time I can really record, so I apologize if some clips sound a little bit weird. Anyway, in the slideshow that I found, the artist announced that they were quitting due to the mass hate they were receiving, as well as a video being made about them, which I'll get into in a second. The whole video was in an entirely different language, so I want to get to the caption first since TikToks has their like automatic translations, so I'll tell you what that says first. The caption said, Would be satisfying to you, right? Thank you for causing me tears. But onto the video itself, I scrolled into the comments looking for a translation, and luckily there was a few people translating. Now this is TikTok, so they're not 100% trustworthy, but everyone who is like translating pretty much said the same thing, so I'm assuming that's what it said. But if this translation happens to be wrong, please correct me in the comments. From what I've gathered, it says, You broke my heart. I will not be drawing this no more. Are you happy now? I'm sorry that I'm not entertaining to you, but make you upset. Goodbye. Again, this is most likely not the exact wording, but this simply broke my heart as well. Now, with the post announcing they're quitting and the very just sad atmosphere, I assume the comments would be defending them or giving them support. Considering it's TikTok, I should have known what I would see next. And that is the entire comments continuing to bully them, calling them dramatic, saying they don't care. It was very upsetting to see. I'm gonna be completely honest here, I don't think quitting TikTok was all that dramatic. They get more hate than support, so why continue posting? Clearly none of these people in the comments have experienced an ounce of the aftermath of being in this sort of situation. In these sort of situations, I have seen people get harassed so much. I've seen them getting threatened with various different things. I've seen them get falsely accused of things and so much more. People on the app take things too far too much. But you may be asking, what did this artist even do to be deserving to be art lord by someone or hated? The hair was too big for people and I instantly was reminded of the Crockett situation from around 2021. And apparently the comments were too because they kept making dumb references to the rendering process jokes. And guys, it's getting old. In fact, it's three years old. Please drop it, get original. Though the whole situation compared to the Crockett situation was way toned down with only a single video found, and there was a lot less the hate than Crockett received, and luckily there are no false allegations made about them. Though since TikTok is starting to realize how crappy art lore is, the creator of the video made about that creator was taken down due to hate. But their comments certainly weren't toned down. They were brutal and felt no empathy for the artist, even after they're announcing they're quitting. But it's TikTok, so I'm not surprised in the slightest. But what I found most interesting is the person who created the mocking video has also made videos in the past getting annoyed over people making fun of their anatomy. But they did admit and apologize for their mistakes in a now deleted video. And even if you're unsure if their apology was genuine, it's best to leave it at that unless they show otherwise. They also pointed out the fact that they were being hypocritical, which is really good that they're recognizing their actions. 
They seem to be very self-aware that the joke wasn't the greatest, and I honestly don't think they ever had sinister intentions going into the situation, they just probably thought it was funny. They probably didn't even think the original artist would see it or even get affected by it if they did. But they definitely did, and even if you weren't trying to be mean when making targeted jokes, majority of the time, intentional or not, it's gonna affect somebody. As an artist on TikTok, you should know it's a recipe for disaster. And that goes for anyone making videos poking fun of others online, especially on apps like TikTok. But even with all of their actions, I don't think they should ever be receiving any of the harassment that they're getting right now. And whether you're still mad about their actions or think their apology wasn't good enough, it's still not an excuse for the harassment. They apologized. We'll never know if it's fake unless they outright say it or prove that speculation. So it's best to move on and just go be supportive of Saju instead of wasting your time only on the people who affected them. But unfortunately, I had to update the script since TikTok apparently couldn't recognize that fact and harass the person to the point where they deleted the apology only a few hours after its release. So it also could have been due to the fact that they wanted to erase the drama entirely from their page. And honestly, I don't blame them. They apologized to the creator personally, they said, and that's honestly all that matters. Their apology shouldn't be to the audience, but the creator themselves, in which they did. And the public apology that they did create didn't really get any positive feedback and everyone was just continuing to hate and harass them. And I don't think people are realizing the fact that there's literally nothing else that they could do. They apologized to the creator, they tried apologizing to the public, they deleted all the videos. They honestly just probably wanted to just keep hating the hate. Something else I want to note on is the people treating that user like they're the only reason Shaju quit. And that is simply false information. I just think that their video was the final straw for them. Because scrolling back on Shaju's page, there was hate on almost every single video because of the proportions. So with or without their video, I think they probably would have quit either way. And I want to make this very clear, this doesn't excuse anything they've done, and I'm not saying just because they aren't the only one, that means they shouldn't receive any criticism at all, but we need to keep in mind that they aren't the only one at fault here, and everybody else really isn't getting spoken enough about. They're only a major part of this video since that's mainly where the drama is, but the comments were a huge contribution that also need to be called out, and that more so is why I wanted to make this video. I added their bit in since it is important to the topic, but I also wanted to go over the arguments made in the comments as well as go over art style bullying and why it's absolutely dumb. And if you happen to find or know the artist's account that made the video, do not go after and harass and hate on them. I've kept them anonymous for a reason, specifically due to the savages online that have never been taught any form of manners. Harassment won't solve anything and it won't make people magically learn from their mistakes. Many people have already certainly let them hear it and they have listened, so why continue to harass them? If you don't like them, simply do not interact and block them. It just boosts their content, which I'm sure you wouldn't want. They're aware of their wrongdoings, and they've stated they personally apologize to the artists as I've stated before, so there's no reason to keep commenting. But let's move on to this part and get into the part where I really wanted to discuss, which is the comment section itself and the art. Sure, the hair, and in some of the drawings, the head looks big, and it might not be your taste, and that's 100% fine. Personally, for me, it's mixed emotions, and that's also fine. What's not fine is being unnecessarily rude and harassing the artist. Then when they express the harm that the audience has caused, you continually bully them which is exactly what the comments did. A lot of people were saying this is clearly anatomy that needs fixing, but it's obviously intentional. It's not the head sizes that are constantly changing or the hair. No, they're pretty much all the same, and Shaju themselves doesn't seem to view it as a mistake either judging by their actions. And that's how you know it's an art style choice. Usually unintentional details are obvious since the sizes or details will be constantly changing drastically which in this case, it's pretty consistent. And even if it was someone struggling with proportions, I haven't seen anyone come on with solid, constructive criticism that doesn't try to come off as nasty. Plus, if you think someone is having trouble drawing something, the least you can do is be supportive. Hate doesn't help the majority of people improve. Most times it can hurt their growth and can lead to quitting. It's an art style choice whether you like it or not. An art won't always appeal to you, and that's what makes it subjective. Like I said in my last video, if you don't like something, just scroll. Your opinions don't need to affect others. Notice that silly TikTok pattern too, or is it just me? Everyone on that annoying app has to shout their opinions and shove it in your face like their opinion is the only correct opinion, and they sure as hell act like it. That's an actual problem on the app. Like no joke, comments that were being actually supportive on that post were hated on as well. Some of them were told to stop lying, which again, as I've said on this channel before, not everyone is going to follow the TikTok hive mind. I am deeply sorry that not all of you can think for yourselves, but some people have differing opinions and that's okay. Honestly, it's crazy how far people take this BS. I never understood how an art style could annoy someone so much that they feel the need to harass someone, but whatever. There are no rights and wrongs when creating an art style. There will always be some that break the rules of anatomy and that's fine. They won't always look visually appealing to you, and sometimes it's even the intention. Throwing a hissy fit won't change the art, it'll just make you look like a toddler crying. So don't make a fool of yourself, grow up and learn to move on. 
If an art style is so high up on your priorities that you put so much effort into bringing an artist down, sit your booty down and consider putting that energy into more useful things. Or maybe people doing actual wrong? Like actually problematic artists maybe? And Shazu, if you happen to see this, which I highly doubt to be honest, or for anyone who has a similar style, who has an art style that's out of the norm, just know your art is beautiful and if people dislike it, that's on them. It won't be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. If they hate on you, just know with many haters, there are also supporters. You can also inspire others, even if it's just one person. And for the chance that the other user who made the video about Shaju, or anyone who made fun of them and feels bad about this is watching this, don't continually beat yourself up about it. If you're feeling guilty, that's the first step of knowing you can improve because you already know you're in the wrong, and you probably want to make up for it, which you can. Continue drawing your beautiful works and having fun, but remember the people that you make fun of are also human beings behind a screen with real emotions just like you. Maybe even support other artists. Trust me, we need all the support we can get nowadays. Anyway, I'm honestly heartbroken for Shaju as I really think they just received so much hate that that video was kind of just a last straw for them. I hope they're doing at least okay considering a situation like this. And as much as I'd hate to see them quit, it might be what's best for them and I respect that decision. I truly hope the best for them in their art journey. And I am truly hoping that they're only quitting TikTok and not just art entirely. It's crazy to think how I had the idiot biddiest smidge of hope that another crooked type situation would never happen again, but that's what happens when I try to give that dumpster fire the benefit of the doubt. Though I'm very grateful that it wasn't as big art lore wise, and that the user who made the video didn't accidentally make a trend of hating on this artist, and that they took it down before anything could spread. At least I hope the art lore videos don't grow. But I don't know, as this drama is still pretty fresh, with the initial video being created within a day of writing the script. But considering the user's backlash after that video, I highly doubt another one is to come. Hopefully it ends here for the drama, and that the support for Shaju continues. They deserve it for all the hard work, and especially with the hate they've been receiving. That's pretty much it for the situation so far, but if anything occurs later on, I'll keep you posted, most likely in the pinned comment. And again, do not go on a witch hunt after anyone mentioned in this video with a negative intent. This video has no intention of going after any specific person, I'm just reporting what I see as it's a requested topic someone wanted to see me cover. I honestly just wish artists could just support other artists, especially with the rise of AI. Why are we pinned against each other for no reason? We should be uplifting each other because we're all in the same boat. But anyway, I probably won't be talking much on art style dramas like this again, since this video kind of sums up my opinions on it as a whole. And I've spoken about it in the past, like with the jelly art style or the pokey dance, and many similar things, but who knows, maybe I will. That's pretty much it for today. More of the story, don't be an asshat because of an opinion. If it hurts nobody, move on. Thank you! And with that, here are today's brush coats we're seeing through today's yap session. Make sure to comment your thoughts in future video ideas. Your ideas can really help me make my content. Remember to love your art, love others, and love yourselves. Bye!